Normani has finally released her big comeback single alongside Cardi B titled Wild Side. Now if you don't know who Normani is, she was a part of the popular girl group Fifth Harmony. While in Fifth Harmony, we really didn't get to see much of Normani's star presence. But after she broke away from Fifth Harmony and started doing more solo gigs, we saw more of her stage presence and performance skills, and people instantly took notice of her potential. One, there is a lack of dark-skinned women in pop music that are big names. When people think of pop stars, they think of Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Rihanna. Due to that and her talent, she did garner a lot of supporters and people who were rooting for her and are rooting for her. She was endorsed by Ariana Grande who co-wrote her debut single and she also toured with her. She's been endorsed by Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, Rihanna, and so many other people so she's been labeled the new it girl and someone to keep an eye on. She initially broke out with a ton of features. You had Love Lies with Khalid, Dancing with the Stranger alongside Sam Smith, and Diamonds with Megan Thee Stallion. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to see much of Namani herself. She eventually released her debut single, Motivation, in 2019. It is a bubblegum pop song. Motivation didn't really make much of an impact, but the video received a ton of positive responses. It had this 2000s feel reminiscent of artists like Beyonce, and it had a lot of nods to people like JLo, Britney Spears in the music video. But after Motivation, she disappeared for two whole years. No music, no droplets, no features, just complete silence. And this is a very rare thing to do, especially within this era where attention spans are shorter and people constantly want more music. But the difference is, Normani was not established and still is not established. So the long break could have potentially damaged her career. But my assumption with the long break is that they wanted to reintroduce her with a more mature sound and image. Motivation was very bubblegum. And she also didn't take on the pop collapse that she was set to be featured on, like Dua Lipa's If It Ain't Me. And then she suddenly comes back and she's reintroduced with this more R&B sound. So I definitely think there was some rebranding going on in the period of time that she didn't release new music. But she could also be writing that line of R&B and pop like Ariana, for example. But I did notice that her reintroduction was more R&B focused. Now onto the actual music video and the song. The song is titled Wild Side and it features Cardi B. Now the music video is great. It has several different looks. Some of the quirks and sort of aesthetics and sets remind me of WAP. But she eventually diversifies her sets and it turns into a great dance video. A lot of people are trying to dance today but you can tell they aren't dancers and they probably never will be dancers or good dancers. Normani is a great dancer. Her dancing is fluid as hell. You can tell that she went to gymnastics and she's an amazing dancer. She's sort of carving out that path of a dance artist like Janet Jackson, Paula Abdul, Britney Spears, and Sierra, where dancing is a great part of their appeal and a huge part of their artistry. And she is undoubtedly the best dancer of this new age of women and men coming up in R&B and pop music. Now onto the song itself, I don't feel particularly strong about the song on either side of the spectrum. It's not amazing, it's not bad, it's just somewhere in the middle. There are some awkward parts, I feel like the first verse is very awkwardly written, and the melody doesn't really come in until the chorus. It really floods in and feels like an actual song when the chorus hits. I do feel like Cardi's part is a bit unwarranted. Her solo work is always much better than her rap features. Her flow is a bit off, it's a bit awkward, and then she tries to sing. She didn't really add anything to the song. It's clear that she was added just as a business move, which is smart on Normani's team part because Cardi is very hot right now. But I also think it would have been a power move if Normani came back solo because all of her hits so far have been features. So just to prove that she can do it on her own, she doesn't need anyone else. And I truly think she could have done this on her own and didn't need any help. But the song itself is not bad. Cardi's part is not bad either. It's just not really needed and didn't add anything special to the song. If I had to give one more critique to the song, it would be the sampling. I feel like the sampling is a bit lazy. If you don't know, Wildside samples Aaliyah's classic hit, One in a Million. And it doesn't really feel like a sample to me. It's not transformed. It just feels like they're singing a different melody over Aaliyah's beat, over Aaliyah's instrumental. 
You know, there's a lot of that type of sampling today. Sweetie notoriously has been called out for it numerous times. And I want to make it clear, there's nothing wrong with sampling. I love samples. It has introduced me and a lot of people, most people, to new music that we probably haven't heard of. But the sampling in this track wasn't transformative at all. But the positive side to this type of sampling is that the track is already familiar to a lot of people. So a lot of people might hear the song and might take an instant liking to it just because it's familiar to them. But overall, the song is pretty on par with motivation in my eyes. It's not super strong, but it does make a more known presence of Normani. And it's definitely something I can listen to again. Anyways, that about concludes my thoughts. What did you think of this song and the music video? I'm definitely interested to see where Normani takes it since she's finally back and dropping music. Tell me what you think about this down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.